What's up guys? So if you're anything like me, you've uh, probably made some custom batteries in the past out of old lithium ion batteries or new ones from China for super duper cheap. Um, here's what my existing custom battery packs kind of look like. Um, and you probably used them and then they, you know, eventually died or the voltage got too low and you've been wondering how do you charge them safely? Uh, because you could just hook up, you know, the voltage that you need to charge the battery to the positive and negative leads and it would, it would probably charge it. But if you do it too many times, um, it can lead to disaster. The battery can short out and blow up and cause problems. Um, so you'll notice on most professional batteries that you buy, they usually have a little cable. It looks something like this. And that is the balance connector for balance charging. Um, and a lot of these bigger batteries usually have a BMS or a battery management supply or charging. So I don't know what it means, but B a BMS is a little circuit, uh, the, a battery protection circuit that makes sure it doesn't use too much voltage, it doesn't charge too quickly. Um, but those things are problematic. One, they're usually kind of cheap and they can, that circuit itself can fail making you think the battery uh, is broken. Um, and two, it will cause your battery sometimes to stop charging before it's fully charged because if any of the cells in the battery, uh, when you're using one of those things, exceeds the voltage required, it'll just stop charging the whole battery. Um, so instead, this I'm gonna show you a safe way to charge your batteries completely um, and balance all the cells evenly and it's, it doesn't require a BMS, you just have to get the wire. And the wire is, it's got one red positive wire and then four uh, or however many cells or, um, in series your battery is. So in my case, it's four, right? And all you really need is the connector, um, but you can buy them ready-made with the little wires attached. Um, it could be a little bit harder to use these pre-made ones because the wires are kind of short, but we're going to make it work for this video today. So first off, the probably the most important thing you're going to need is one of these, uh, like a hobby charging thing. It's a, it is a, it's a hobby charger. It's got, um, I want to thank Banggood for sending me this one, uh, for this video, but, um, it's, this, this one in particular has a plug right here, and then it plugs in and has a little uh, adapter to between 2S and 6S batteries, so you can have between two and six series batteries charged with this thing. And this one is it's kind of funny um, because it came with this like strange European socket. The one they sent me is kind of like definitely not American. It's got this little adapter, um, but it was a little confusing to get started. Uh, so just if you're wondering and you, if you order one and it doesn't have like an American adapter, cause usually the cheaper ones, um, are from overseas, like site um, from sites like Banggood and wherever eBay, um, just be, be cognizant of where line and neutral are. Neutral is uh, for American plugs. It's the one on the left with like the big plug. And then line is the, or live is a small one on the right. So, just be aware of that. So the way you wire your batteries up for uh, balanced charging is you take this wire, you take the red one, attach it to the positive side. And then you take the next, the first black wire right after the red one, attach it to that battery's, that cell's negative. And then take the second negative one and attach it to the next battery's negative. So it just goes one red on the positive and then attach the following black negative wires to the following negative cells. So positive, negative, 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 negative. I saw a lot of videos online about people trying to set up balance chargers, but they never explicitly explain how you're supposed to wire these things. So I thought I would mention that. And this is a project where you're gonna need your soldering iron. So if you don't have one, uh, there's gonna be a link in the description for you to pick one up. But if you don't already have a soldering iron, you should definitely invest in one. They're super handy. I use mine all the time. When you're soldering batteries, be super duper careful. 
So only solder the battery for a very, very limited time, if at all, because you can damage the battery by applying too much heat to it. That's why um, it's preferable to not solder batteries and buy them professionally. And while you're soldering, it's a lot easier to solder in the middle where the nickel is kind of floating between the two batteries than it is on top of the terminals themselves because the nickel is really thin and it heats up really fast and also it won't transfer the heat to the battery. So um, that's that's what I've been doing as you can see like as you can see like I did on this one right here. Uh, so I, I recommend doing that. Here's our battery now. It's uh, I mean yeah it looks kind of Frankenstein but it's because it is and the wires are a little short but that's okay. Um, and we've got our charger. Plug it into the right socket. Plug it in. And we can test the battery first. It's a lithium ion battery. Let's do a battery meter first. Here we go. This is good news. Look at this. I oh, hope you can see this. Move this down here. Here we go. So we can meter the battery now. And it's a good thing I installed this balance charger because look at the look at these voltages: 3.57, 3.28, 2.98, 3.15. See, so these are all out of whack. Um, which you would expect that from Chinese batteries that were just kind of hacked together. So now we uh, select the program on this thing, just make sure it's on lithium ion battery. Hold down start. Cell number incorrect. It is a 4S battery, so that's how you know it's a pretty good charger, it counts all the cells and everything. Perfect! Alright, and now it's going to charge. Just for clarification, all we have is the positive and the negative. And the wires, the wires I just added going into the Bahavi charger. And it tells you exactly what each cell is charged at. And we'll balance them all out. So if you want this charger in particular, I had those two batteries at the same time. I want to thank Banggood for sending this one out to me. Seriously awesome, because uh, my plasma sword my plasma sword used up all my batteries and then I didn't have a safe way to charge them again. So, uh, thanks again. There, and just like that, the battery is now nice and balanced. Perfectly. And I have no BMS. And I can use the battery in all of my super fun projects again. Uh, this is another battery that I did. Um... This is the other battery I did it while this one was charging. I, I wrapped it up and everything. Uh, made it look nice and semi-professional. Not really, it looks pretty hacky. But I used the electrical tape on all of the contacts to make sure if you set it on like a metal surface, it doesn't uh, short out and then blow up. So that's why I always cover up the battery terminals. Um, you touch it to a screwdriver, you just like put it on like a metal table, like probably have a bad time. All right, so thanks for watching, and that's how you should charge your batteries um, without a BMS now. And uh, I'm able to get my plasma sword back in action. Let's turn the lights off so I can see it better. Probably shouldn't hold it so close to my face. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.